What the hell is happening with Chelsea Football Club, people? I don't know, because we were apparently ready to sign a new director of football. And all of a sudden, news are coming from the Athletic, David Onstein, and some sources in Germany, Austria, and everywhere else in England, that it might not even happen. <laughs> So Chelsea are on the market again to try to find somebody else. What the hell is happening, man? It looks like it was a perfect, perfect uh, international break for us to get uh, stuff organized and with a new director of football and start planning for January and summer and all that and all of a sudden. So... People are getting on Fabrizio Romano at the moment, as you can tell online. Remember that he pretty much pushed on this. Like for the last few days, he's been praising this, uh, this this Freud guy, you know, Christopher or Christoph Freud. He's been praising him. He made a lot of videos on YouTube, TikTok, uh which every platform he's been talking about this guy and then all of a sudden other people are reporting differently so do you think that Fabrizio Romano just jumped the gun do you think that uh, he went too quickly I've seen him getting certain stuff wrong in the past but not much not many because he's well informed so what is happening here it could be the case of, let's say, Brighton. Remember Brighton? A few weeks ago or a few months ago when they said, we, are, we don't know uh, anything about the transfer of uh, Kukurea. And it, he ended up next morning to Chelsea. They put even official uh, statement on their website to say, to deny it. But Fabrizio Romano said, calma, calma, calma. Remember back in the day? Yeah. He said, calm down. Let's see who is going to win at the end. So Fabrizio here is saying that um, not, not only him, but also many journalists reported it, which is kind of, hey, don't blame me. My, don't blame myself, but we are many. But I think even those so-called journalists and TV stations are copying from him and quoting him in their, in their report. So you have to assume. Assume it. <laughs> Take it in the chain. Take it in the chain, Mr. Romano. So this is what he said uh, last time when it comes to Kukorea, you know. Kukorea, he said, we will see okay who lied and at the end he said i told you so here we go so he basically announced mr christoph field so people it's international break everybody is very very bored at the moment as you can tell people are looking for something to to do or something to watch or something to say so uh this kind of report and contradictions are gonna be all over the place uh, people are comparing him with uh, Austin people say that Austin is better than 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 Fabrizio I'm not gonna get in that war if you wanna go there and compare them I just know that they have sources and you're not gonna get always hundred percent of of everything so it looks like uh, hmm this one is changing very very quickly this is what david austin said chelsea appointment of sporting director not imminent but romano said like a few hours ago it was imminent just paperwork they are preparing paperwork and all that so chelsea football club optimism on christoph field premature as rb Salzburg want to keep the 45 years old. He may not stay. Still interested, but also talking to other candidates. Plus, plenty keen on 
the role. So it's not he's not the only person, but we've been sold this guy as the next coming of you know Luis Campos, the next coming of such and such is one of the best in the business. So we all adopted and and uh, got in the bandwagon. And now we my son we might jump <laughs> to another bandwagon and start praising somebody else. Probably Paul Mitchell or somebody else. But hello, I know Bolly is working very hard behind closed doors. So we don't know what's gonna happen. So man, Chelsea Twitter is just getting crazy at the moment. <laughs> this guy here said and is not gonna change the fact that Arsenal are in the Europa League. So banter and banter and banter. What do we have in the Chelsea community, people? More. I know you are tired. I know everybody is bored. But listen. So despite Christoph Freud being the top candidate, Chelsea are talking to other candidates. Okay? Other contenders for the sporting director at Chelsea. I kind of like the guy. He can speak English. He's still young. He has a big vision. So kind of bought him already. <laughs> but now we're going to have to switch to something else. Oh, so optimism and all that. People are just repeating the same thing over and over again. International break. Our players are reporting pretty much all over the world. So, uh, Chelsea players have been encouraged. This one came from Nick Paul. Chelsea players have been encouraged by the speed uh, which, which Todd Bowley and uh, whatever are building the club off field. The structure is getting shaped very, very quickly. So Chelsea, Chelsea players are very happy about it. They are also already enjoying working with Graham Porter. Because Graham Porter always consider human being first and then a player after that. He knows how to talk to them. He knows how to respect them. And he knows how to play them in the right system the rank positions so you're gonna love a coach like that who plays you where you wanna you wanna be so people uh it's so confusing at the moment we don't know fabrizio romano if you you go on his youtube he would tell you here even still even pinned on this one you know rb labzik have been informed that he's leaving and they're not gonna make it complicated Exclusive Chelsea are now set to reach an agreement. So he already announced that here we go here. But still, we don't know what is going to happen. So people, <laughs> we're just looking for some something to share here in the Chelsea community while you are bold. Let's check on Adam. Adam. Tell us what else you have for us, brother. Um, nothing special. Same old, same old. Jules Koundé admits, you know, he wanted to join Chelsea, but Xavi convinced him to join, to join, uh, to join Barcelona. The pool power. I've already made a video about it. So, yeah, everybody was reporting this morning as this guy here. Christoph, the deal was already done and all of a sudden boom we are nowhere yeah we are nowhere at the moment people leave your comment keep let's keep the conversation going follow your brother here on social media um let's follow each other no egos i always follow people back so if you can uh, you can follow me i will follow you back and this morning even look at what happened okay fabricio announced that it's official labzi confirmed max 
Ebel has joined as a sporting director from Borussia Mönchengladbach. So this guy was supposed to replace Christoph, who was set to join Chelsea Football Club. I don't know what happened, but listen, <laughs> this could be just a fake news, paper talk, but tomorrow morning, you never know, it might be announced as a Chelsea new sporting director. Why not?